Hey gamers, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got an in-depth guide on how to afford a gaming PC as a teen with little to no money. This video is packed with detailed steps, so grab a snack and let's get into it. So if you're a teen and you're at least 14 years of age, you can get a limited selection of jobs, such as you can babysit people, dog walk people, you can work for retail, fast food in restaurants, become a lifeguard in the summer, they pay quite well. You can also get movie theater jobs, grocery store positions. There's many jobs you can get at this age. They won't pay as well as adult jobs, but they'll get the you'll get some money. Second way you can make money, or not really make money, but save money, is every time you get money as a birthday gift, a Christmas gift, Chinese New Year's gift, just save it. You know, every time you get money, just save it. Learn how to be financially responsible and learn how to save and when I was seven years old, I personally did that and I saved a grand and I got me a PC. So that is one way you could just save money that you, you get from gifts. If you're more of the entrepreneurial type of teen and you don't really want to work for someone else just like me, what I've personally done was start doing landscaping, create your own business and you can go around your neighborhood. This is gonna, you know, not be great for people with anxiety but just knock on doors and ask people to do their their you know yard work like you know leaf cleanup jobs you can mow people's yards learn how to weed whack and if your parents don't really have any of those tools they can borrow you know save up a bit of money first and then invest it into a leaf blower a lawn mower weed whacker and then you can start your own business you, you don't have to do landscaping that's just what I've done. You can also get a power washer and start pressure washer, washing people's houses or even their driveways. You can start a car detailing business where you clean people's cars and inside and out. You can also make money online. You can go on Etsy and you know start designing stuff and selling it. There's as many ways you can make money online. You can even start a clothing brand too, which I don't really recommend too much since basically everybody has a clothing brand nowadays and it's a little bit saturated. But if, a, if you have a really good idea and you believe in it, go ahead and start trying to create the business ideas of yours and make it and turn it into a real thing. Alright, so another way you can make money is just selling stuff you don't really need in your house. You can go on Facebook Marketplace and sell your electric scooter you don't use anymore, your bike that you don't use anymore. I don't know, any old computers. I personally sold a bunch of technology and I've also used this website called Macari. It's a really trustworthy website. I use it a lot. And um, that's the only website I really use online to sell my old stuff. I use Macari and I, I'll, I'll put a link down below, but I've made about like, I think I've definitely made over a grand this app not made but like i i i got money out of stuff i didn't really use anyways so i got a grain out of that and that was pretty good you know getting a grain out of stuff you don't use for example i've sold laptops mini computers electric scooters bikes i've actually started flipping stuff as well i forgot to mention i didn't only sell stuff that i already had i bought PS4s, Xboxes were really cheap, like like $60, $70. I sold it for 100 bucks. I did that over and over. And it's not that qu like quick of a money. It's not instant money. You do have to put in work. But as a teen, making no money, making some. Another way you can make money is to become a content creator. This kind of goes in with the entrepreneurial team. If you don't like working for someone else, become your own boss and start creating YouTube videos. This will take time to get followers and actually start making money but it's all worth it at the end if you keep on uploading youtube videos learn about how the youtube algorithm works and try to improve on it and stay consistent which i've struggled on on that quite a bit i haven't stayed consistent in a while i haven't uploaded in two years so this is some this is a lesson that i have to learn myself as well there's many teens out there who are making thousands of dollars, maybe even millions of dollars through this. Once you do get the PC, you can make even more money by 
making videos using that computer yourself. Also, don't get scammed when buying the PC. Do your research beforehand. Learn about all the PC components before buying it, especially if you're buying it used. But also online, some of the uh, pre-built PCs you can buy really aren't the best deals. And they're taking advantage of people who don't really know much and you see like rainbow RGB PC cases and you're like, ooh, that looks pretty cheap for the price and it looks pretty good. Even though you don't really know what the components are, they can be like some super old component that doesn't run that great on video games or anything else and you just got played. The final way of how you can make money to afford a PC is sell your kidney. There's many ways you can do that in the black market and dark web and I don't even know. But I, I haven't really, you know, explored that endeavor myself. But you can, you know, do a little bit of research, sell your kidney. I think it goes for thousands of dollars, which will definitely afford you a PC. Once you do get the PC itself, that can actually unlock many ways you can make money. You know what I'm saying? Instead of using your super cheap laptop to make YouTube videos, you can use your powerful PC to do so. You know, instead of running your business off your crappy school laptop, use your gaming PC to do so. You can play video games and become an esports god and just become the best player in a certain game like Fortnite and win a ton of tournaments, become a streamer and make tons of money off sponsorships and donations and ads and all that from, you know, just your PC. Your PC unlocks many other ways to make money. So that's more of a reason why you should get a PC or save up for one. Also, with many other things I've bought, I've bought like expensive stuff like electric scooter i thought i'll use that every single day it was super fun to ride for like a month and i got bored of it with my pc it was really fun for the first couple months and i realized it's still fun like every every like time i take a break away from a pc for maybe a couple weeks i always go back to my pc because there's just it unlocks a whole different world i can do so much with my pc play games watch youtube create money like do a bunch of stuff with my pc it's it's a investment well i won't really say investment depends on what you're using it for but it's something that you won't regret well i didn't regret my pc at least i use it like all the time once you do get your pc though don't forget that balance is everything don't use it like 24 7 like go outside once in a while get a little bit of exercise in and stay active because healthy body healthy mind healthy mind more content creation entrepreneurial things you can do esports things you can do more money you make you know what i'm saying you know you ever hear the quote money doesn't buy happiness well that's wrong well that's all i have to say for this video if i missed any ways of saving money or getting money for a pc and you know a better way of getting the money to purchase a PC, let me know in the comments down below. And make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notifications for future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. By the way, this gameplay is by me, so rate my, how good I am in the comments down below. 1 out of 10.